Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life Channel. It's Irina here. Hello, hello. How are you guys? I'm very happy to see you in this video. Um, so we're preparing um, the mixture for warming bath salt. You know, where I live, winter is approaching pretty fast and I think I would just indulge using this great recipe. So this is also um, a series of video where I am using um, black pepper essential oil. So if you're interested to know about um, health benefits of this oil and other recipes, just go ahead, follow the links. The recipe is very simple, just takes two seconds to uh, mix it all up. You would need, um, this is the recipe for more than one use, so, which is great. I love recipes like this. You make and forget for the next several uses. So one cup of Epsom salt. Um, any brand you like, Dr. Teal's, if you can see, is the one I'm using. What's really important is to use pure Epsom salt, so soaking solutions, no um, essential oils added. And I would just a word of caution, sometimes you see something it says lavender, you know, lavender soaking solution, Epsom salts, but if you look at the ingredients, it would have fragrance, a perfume, that's not what you want your body be soaking in, right, your skin. You don't want that. Rather get a pure, no other ingredients, and add essential oils of your own to, you know, according to your preference. Essential oils. What is going to make our bath warming? Black pepper, obviously. Do not use a lot. Use two drops. Go ahead and add one, two, and I believe it was three drops. That's okay. That's forgivable. Now the next essential oil we're using is juniper berry. Can you see that? You can't. So if you can't, you guys just got to believe me. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you very much. So, juniper berry will use in the amount of five drops. Uh, juniper berry is something that's often used during meditation. It has a calming effect. It's natural purifier. After a stenious workout, very good oil to use in this bath, of course, too. So let me go ahead and two, three, four, but use this oil, very good oil. Maybe not a lot of people like this, uh, the smell of it. It's, um, I would say, has like, um, I don't even know how to explain. Uh, well, I don't want to, I don't like to diffuse it, but in the baths, very good. It's also good for congestion. And the final oil, lavender, obviously, for a relaxing bath as well. We shall also need an amount of five drops. So let's go ahead, one, two, three, four, five. So this is it. What you're going to do is um, mix it up, right? So you want, see I have some stones here, that's okay. So just mix it up. You store it in a container like this. If you're using glass, be very careful, you know, bringing it to the bathtub. This recipe has no oils, like regular carrier oil, so it, sh it will not be slippery, which is always, you know, we, something we need to be cautious about. And um, you will need to add one quarter of a cup to half a cup per bath. I would suggest to start with quarter of a cup just to see how you like it, how your skin likes it, and obviously fill up the bathtub with water and just soak. You don't need to go crazy and soak for half an hour. If you could tolerate five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops, I would say would be fine. And uh, because it's a warming bath, maybe you would feel better if you cover yourself in warm robe or maybe a towel or even get just right under, or just maybe get right in bed and under the covers, you will feel the warmth, which is exactly what you need. I believe you will have very good restful sleep after doing this bath. You could do it maybe once or twice a week. Again, don't go crazy with anything. Always pay attention to how you're feeling. The water, by the way, doesn't need to be really burningly hot. You don't, you don't want that. Just nice water the skin can tolerate. If you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. If you like this video, put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.